this reading a little bit quiet, and then I'm going to pick it up for you guys. So this is from a book called The Length of This Gap, which is a book about grief. You know, cheerful. <laughs> Blueprints. No mayo, no marinade, no meat, no marmalade. Cook green, cook yellow, cook purple, don't eat, don't drink too much, don't binge, no chocolate sauce, no ice cream, no caramel, replace sour cream and onion potato chips with wasabi almonds. Organize bowls, organize funnels, organize spoons, recycle empty bottles of wine, dump ashtray. I wanted you here with me last night, my butter molded butterfly. I wanted you sitting in my lap where my our cat sat. Can you believe he is taken to sitting on the countertops? My long nails scratch crusty things off the bottom of the sink. Healthy food bits, grains and greens, things you would never eat. Eat in here, hang art in here, smoke in here, yes, smoke in here, chain smoke in here, read a book and eat rainbow charm with amino acids and smoke in here. Wow. Buy a new table, place it there, use a tablecloth, put it there, replace the light bulbs up there, wash the mirror there, there. I make roasted eggplant and asparagus soup for dinner and we smoke cigarette after cigarette, smoke curled up past our fingers, past vanilla candles, past those paintings that make me so sad, past the window that will never open and up, up to the ceiling. I don't bring up your name at dinner and neither do they. I have tried hard to erase you, but you are stuck in the mold of a yet to be sanded dresser that was yet to be sanded for years, that has never been stained except by whiskey that we always, always call the sideboard for lack of a better name. Keep the rug right where it is. Move the chairs around, buy big pillows and throw them on the rug. Move in a bookshelf, move the chairs around, and again, and again. Ignore the lack of table, ignore the lack of toys. Cover it all up, all the broken bits with an orange cloth. Hang wrought iron towel rack, throw away old shampoo. Water plant, move plant, water plant, move plant, back to the same dusty spot. The roaches are back. I had to chop a head off with a shampoo bottle the other morning and no one was there to hear my screaming. Not true. I silent screamed because I didn't know if I could wake him up. I didn't want to be disappointed by him not coming to my rescue. He scurried, I pounded, I got the willies, he ran, he paused, I caught him. He's dead now. Throw away that fucking television. Throw away that fucking telephone with its really loud fucking ringer. <laughs> Move the furniture around until the vacuum will fit between everything. Hang photos, dust, sit. There is no call and response in here anymore. There never really was. Marco, Marco. But now there is no shouting, no loud, loud booming, and no shouts that weren't shouted either. I'm not hiding anymore. I've been keeping track of things to share with you someday. Little tick marks on the walls. From far away, it looks like I'm trying to cover the walls with streaks of black, but squint in closer. I've hung pictures of my family and written bold sentences in red across the wall beneath those pictures. Things they tell me to remember when I miss you. Buy new sheets. Move bed up against the wall. Get rid of the unfeng shui mirror. Insert statue of a goddess. Insert Santa Barbara candles. Sleep. I found that dead baby bird under your dresser when I moved your dresser out. I know you tried to be its birdie savior, and maybe for a minute you thought it might have worked. There are things you will find out about this particular room in my house. These things are going to hurt your feelings. I think about them as rolled up quarters. Okay, switching gears. Okay, so that was um, an old, somewhat angry love poem. <laughs> somewhat. somewhat angry. Uh, this is from a new book that's called In the Away Time, Diary of a Stalker. <laughs> Remember that the poet 
is not always the narrator. And sometimes she is. Forward. I am on a train and then a subway and then a bus. It seems appropriate to write to you in movement, in transit through your city. You have been moving away from me for months, towards a thing away from me. You turned cold. You turned off. You were gone. In this, you taught me something I had forgotten. Love is greater than pain. Love exists in pain or right beside it. Love still exists in the absence of the beloved. Do you remember that time in my bed when you covered my whole body with your whole body? You made me shake and then you climbed on top of me. Your feet covering my feet, all your fingers covered my fingers, your legs, arms, belly, sex, scars, cheek on my cheek, my face in the cave your hair made. You left bruises all over. You made me feel safe. You made me feel connected to you. Do you remember this? There is a sadness like cigarette cravings. Mm. Then is counting to, to 30. 30 seconds and it will pass. One, two, three, four, five. The sadness comes like a panic attack out of nowhere. There is a crippling, there is not breathing, there is not thinking, there is not finishing. There are four back surgeries, there is no sleep. There is a cat who has the shits from his new medicine. He shits in the bathtub and sometimes on the floor. There are bed bugs. There are thousands and thousands of bed bugs with their tiny needles that poke flesh and suck blood. I drink every night. Usually a bottle of red wine and sometimes one and a half bottles sometimes two bottles. <laughs> sometimes I drink whiskey. When I drink whiskey, I do not measure. There is a knock on a door. There is a hope that this knock is you. This knock is never you. There is disappointment. All right, I've never read these next two in public. So